Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So for today, I'm going to take you guys through another updated look at my pocket hole born. So first thing I want to mention is that yes, I do have dashboards now. I actually found my old ARC dashboards and I cut them down. So these should look familiar to you guys if you've been with me for that long. So I have a map that I like to use, you know, when I travel. Y'all know I love my lemons. Just have like this green damask and then leaves, you know, obviously for fall. I like to use this around my birthday. This to me kind of looks like tiles, like in an in-ground pool. So I use that during the summer. And I think you can kind of tell like what I use for which occasion. Like this is a Christmas one. This is like whenever and summer you guys get the idea but I just like having a couple of different options so that's always nice so right off the bat over here I have a list of things that I need to buy but the difference is that these are things that I don't normally buy all the time so I tend to forget about them so I'm trying to keep like a running list <laughs> so that when I do actually need to buy it, I don't forget. In this pocket, I have some Target Dollar Spot stickers. These are probably my favorite. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then in the back pocket, I have some blank note cards, just grid note cards. And I also have this, which is basically what I want for a custom VDS. So it's gonna run about $300. So when I do feel like spending the money, at least I will be prepared. So that just, oops, goes in the back. If I can get it in there, that would be great. And then on the other side, I have like, a note card that has my phone number on it just in case it gets lost and then I have a summer bucket list and then I have a list of breakfasts and then these are like lunches and dinners that I make pretty much all the time I'm not the biggest fan of meal planning so it kind of makes it a little bit easier on me all right so I'm not going to take you guys through absolutely everything because it is pretty much the same as the last time you saw it with the exception of, you know, the inserts. So let me just show you guys what my daily has been looking like. The only change that I made is down here and I've been trying to drink two gallons of water a day. I have a 64 ounce water bottle so if I drink four of those it equals two gallons so as I drink them I just highlight you know when it's done I did take part of the chicken wire dashboard and I cut it down into like a bookmark so it does have the bottom tab which is nice so I can you know easily access it because I do have top tab dividers I wanted to show you guys how I've been using these menu and grocery planner inserts. So this was my first week using them. And what I really liked about this is, I guess, seeing my entire grocery list because I actually put it into Google Sheets and I take that with me into the store. Like I have it on my phone and then that's how I record, you know, how much each item is. And then that way I know if I'm, you know, over budget or if I'm right on target. So down here in like this little note section, I've been putting in what I want to make for lunch, for work that week. And then also the total that I spent and then how much I have left for, you know, the next week or for the rest of the month. So... As you can see, I've kind of just been going with the flow. This is the one that I just did today, so that's probably why it looks really bare, but 
I don't know. I might just end up only buying this stuff. Okay, the budget tracker. I haven't really decided if I'm the type of person where groceries only mean food or groceries entail everything that you go to a store to buy. So I need to figure that out. <laughs> but I really need to work on my grocery budget because I tend to overspend as I think a lot of us do. So that's why I have this on here. For gas, I really don't need to take control of that. I just am curious to see how often I have to buy it because let me tell you, it's not very often. So savings tracker, I really like this one because I have been trying to build up my regular savings. I'm sorry, you guys, my cat is biting me right now. So I put, you know, kind of what my goal is up here, which is to build regular savings. And, you know, you have the date, you can put an addition symbol or subtraction symbol if you're putting money in or taking money out. I'm sorry, he's still biting me. And, you know, you have the amount that you deposited or took out and then the balance that is left. And then over here, I put 25% because that's my goal. I'm trying to save 25% of my monthly take home pay. I'm also trying to, um, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, he's being a booger. So I'm also trying to pay off all of my student loans. And I'm doing the Dave Ramsey method where you start with the loan that has the highest interest rate. So that's kind of why I have that in there. So I haven't actually started just yet because I'm still trying to build up my savings. But once I do, I will be you know, putting the amounts in here just so I can watch it go down. All right, so moving on. This is pretty much the same. It's just my monthly yearly section. Can't remember if I showed this to you guys before, but this is like my appointment section. So if I have stuff that isn't until the end of the year, I will actually put it on a post-it on the back. And then that way, you know, in between now and like October or November, if I do have an appointment, I can put it in here and then everything goes in order. I don't know, it's one of those OCD tendencies, I guess. And then I did put birthdays back in here just because, you know, it's, it's nice to always look at the month and be like, oh, somebody has a birthday, you know, so you can kind of be prepared for it. All right, so this next section is probably the one that has changed the most and it is my note section. So I did mention that I'm trying to meal plan for work, but I'm actually trying to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As of right now, I've only been doing breakfast and lunch. So as you can see, I have it divided up between the three. And what I do is I have the ingredients, like actual individual ingredients, depending on the meal, you know, in each section. And then right here is a list of all the breakfasts that I like to make ahead of time. And I haven't gotten around to the lunches or the dinners, but they're gonna go on the back here. I did update this. You guys have seen this before, just in this format, so are all the things that I typically buy at Aldi and Walmart and then everything that I typically buy at Sam's Club. Okay, so bill tracker. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. So with this, I really didn't like tracking my bills because they tend to be the same every month. And it seems kind of pointless to track that if it's a fixed amount. So 
that being said, I figured why not track how much I spend for groceries and gas. And I'm thinking of expanding this into how much I spend, you know, for like my cat and personal care items, you know, stuff for my apartment, like, you know, toilet paper and dish soap, etc. So that was kind of my idea for this because like I said, my bills are not variable for the most part. I have maybe one or two that are but I don't think it makes that big of a difference. So that's how I'm using that. So this is my when did I last purchase page and I did expand it a little bit into personal gas and then on the back I have groceries and then miscellaneous slash slash emergency. So pretty much I just like to see you know, in different formats, the same information, because if I'm really working on something, it honestly helps me to remember. And then this should be recurring, not reoccurring, just FYI. But I have some tasks in here, but I haven't finalized this yet because there's a couple that I need to add. So I need to work on that. And then I'm going to be in Houston for two and a half months for work. So just FYI, for these dates down here, I will not be posting any videos. So I haven't gone MIA. I haven't forgotten about y'all. It's just I'm going to be working six days a week and I'm not going to have time. <laughs> so this is pretty much everything that I need to do to prepare to go down to Houston for work. Like, I'm not gonna be able to keep my cat in my apartment because I don't have anybody to take care of him. So my mom is moving back up to Cleveland for her job and I'm actually gonna drop him off with my mom when I go there in July for my friend's wedding. So it's actually working out pretty well. Have some upcoming videos. And then this you guys have seen before, but I did add a to research section because there's always something that I want to look up, but I can never remember. So I thought that would be helpful. I am planning on going back to South Dakota. I don't know when, but I am planning on it. So I just have some things listed out for stuff that I want to do. Mainly, I just want to go to the Badlands. Like, that's literally it. This is still the same. It's just products that I want to try, like, for our home. And then the only new thing on here is this. So I did mention that I'm trying to do the Dave Ramsey method for paying off my student loan debt. So after I'm done paying that off, my goal is to have, an you know, 18 months worth of expenses in my emergency fund and then 24 months of expenses for my regular, um, or sorry, my regular savings account. And I just made a note that I'm trying to pay off the loans with the highest interest rates first. All right, now we get to the last section, which is, well, second to last section, which is just notes. So I have it covered, but I have all of my loans, including my car payment, which are, you know, divided up, like they go in order from highest interest rate to lowest so that I know which ones I need to pay off first. And you can probably hear my cat. He's over here being a booger. And that is pretty much it. I added some grid note paper from the Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group. And these are like little note pages that I cut down from a notepad that my cousin gave me for Christmas. So anyways, that is everything. I tried to do this as fast as possible for you guys, but that's what my planner is looking like as of right now. I'll be completely honest, I have been neglecting my fake traveler's notebook because I've been so obsessed with this. So 
just a heads up. <laughs> Probably won't be seeing a video on that, you know, too soon. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I love you all, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.